Hey, my name is Catwoman. I'm the woman from the moon. Let me tell you my little life story. Quite a bit of time ago, in a little village, only the moon knows where, a beautiful young woman fell in love with a sailor. The sailor was already taken, upset, and totally in love. He was taken by the moon. The beautiful young women tried to win his heart for years and years, but he couldn't compete with the moon. And when she became old and ugly, still in love with the sailor and still a virgin, she made a special wish. And her wish became true. It was on an unusual day in the first week of 1974 that the moon and the earth were so close together they could touch each other. The sailor and the old and ugly woman, who were friends but not lovers, were sitting in a little boat in the middle of the sea at night when suddenly the moon appeared from behind the horizon. The sailor and the old and ugly woman were in shock. Even more so when the moon showed her face and started talking. She asked the human beings to climb on top of her and take a little ride. And so they did. It was unreal, like a dream. The moonscape was overwhelming and the only thing the sailor could think of was to make love to the moon. But because that was impossible, the old and ugly the sailor started to make love to the old and ugly woman instead and used the moon as his bed. And when he reached his orgasm, the moon told him to jump back into the sea before she would leave the horizon on her way to the sky, never to return back again. The sailor started running to the edge of the moon and jumped back into the sea, but the old and ugly woman, who just reached her first orgasm and obviously couldn't walk <laughs> no more, <laughs> decided to stay on the moon forever and ever, knowing that every time the sailor would look up to his beloved one, he would at least think about her. And so it happened that nine months later, the old and ugly woman brought me to Earth, but my Earth was the moon. The old and ugly woman died, giving birth to me, so the moon decided to feed me and raise me. In words, she would say, adopt me, but my mother never used any words. I never heard her say, one word. Mother Moon was like a giant warm breast, feeding me with cosmic milk. This milk was pure love. <laughs> My favorite thing to do was every night before I would go to sleep, to look through the, um, the earth scope. <laughs> I saw some very funny and very fucked up things, but it interested me. And on my 21st birthday, while I was flying over craters, I all of a sudden saw a big flag. It was red, white, and blue, and, and had about 50 stars on it. And with it, there was a message saying, 
1969, the first people set foot on the moon. We came in peace for the entire humankind. What? I thought. And a very good idea entered me. If it was possible for others to come here, it must be possible for me to go there. <laughs> and at that moment, I made up my no mind. I decided to go in peace for the entire humankind. I said goodbye to my mother and ciao. Yes, I have flown with silver wings through space. Laughing all the way, I felt so high because I could fly. And then I closed my eyes, looking deep inside, smart enough to realize that it all became the same. No time, no night, no day, no earth, no moon, no sun. I had the biggest fun when the universe became one. As a light inside, so hot, it made me feel like I was gone. And then from far distance, I saw a woman waving at me. It was like she was calling me, another woman. The landing was wet. I landed in the sea. And when I came above, I looked straight in the eyes of this big woman. Hey, my name is Catwoman. I'm the woman from the moon, were the first words I ever spoke as I introduced myself. Welcome to heaven, cat woman. Heaven, I said. I thought I came to the earth. It's the same thing, cat woman, but most people don't realize this. It's cold here. Let's have a coffee, it will warm you up and I will tell you all about the secrets to make this earth your heaven. It's hard to breathe. With a coffee you normally take a cigarette and after your breathing will be normal. <laughs> we spoke all night long. Drinking coffee, smoking cigarettes and when the sun came up I was totally ready to start my new adventures on planet earth. I come see you again, but um, I forgot your name. My name is Miss Liberty. Just ask for the Statue of Liberty if you want to see me. And I started work walking inside the Big Apple, New York City. And after one week, I went back to Miss Liberty and she started to ask me all these questions. What did you see first time, New York City? Well, the first time I was there, I saw mirrors everywhere. Creatures looking just like me with heads and hearts and eyes and hands and because we look the same, you see, I made them all my friends. What did you smell first time, New York City? First smell? It smelled like hell. Smoke from cars who were all around and even smoke came from the ground. I assumed I smelled perfume, but this smell didn't have the power as when I smelled a real flower. What did you hear first time, New York City? What I heard? A singing bird and then an ambulance drove by. I heard laughter, people cry. Covering my ears with my hands was the only way to hear silence. What did you taste first time, New York City? 
pizza and spaghetti. <laughs> Cigarettes and coffee, cappuccino, frappuccino, just give it a name, it all tasted the same. But the best taste went like this. It was the taste of my first kiss. And who were you first time, New York City? I don't understand this question. I kept on being me. I'm the woman from the moon, you see. And where were you first time, New York City? I was just chilling on the stoop. <laughs> you want to know what's going on on the stoop? Give me some music. Late evening sun on the stoop, watching people on the run. Skaters and rollerbladers shooting by. A gay guy with some listex on. A fat man eating apple pie. An old lady sends me away. It's her stooping, I can't stay. Different stoop one block away. Yellow cap, stretch limousine, familiar faces, more nicotine, junks, punks, looking very mean, trendy Japanese, wanna be seen. More nicotine, more nicotine, in fact, everybody wants to be seen. A million smiles, especially for me, given by strangers makes me very <laughs> happy. The sun is sitting down, ready to go to sleep, nightlife soon to start, Black reggae boy gives me flyers for tonight. Partying for free, except I've never been to a party. <sighs> Pregnant lady catches my eye. An old man ready to die. Indian guy, woman from Uruguay. Africans, Americans, Europeans, <laughs> aliens. <laughs> Just sitting on the stoop watching the world. Look up at the sky, day has faded into night, moon and star shining, not so bright. I'm cold again, gotta go home to my men, some warmth, some passion. Good night, sleep, and I'll be ready for tomorrow's stupid session. <laughs> yeah, stupid session! the stoop. Yeah, basically what I was doing in New York City, I was just sitting on the stoop waiting for my perfect man to show up and you know I was reading magazines and stuff to see how you guys dealing here with each other on this earth but in one of those magazines there was this um, this personality test. So sitting on the stoop making the test and I thought the test was really stupid. So I decided to make my own test. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna test you all out. Music, please. Did you already find your way to heaven? Did you already set yourself free? Did you already meet the gods inside you? And love yourself and others unconditionally? Did you have adventures like you're the movie star and do you already realize it's actors we all are? Have you ever been yourself without feeling any shame? And if you don't feel happy, you're the only one to blame. Did you ever meditate, masturbate and create? Did you already transform yourself and 
to an angel. Do you already trust every second of the day? And do you know the other world isn't far away? Did you educate yourself without needing a book? And when looking in the mirror, do you like the way you look? Do you live right here and see the signs right now? Do you feel as holy as an Indian cow? <laughs> Is your karma clean and have you ever seen a golden leaf? Do you swear you're not blind, you really, really see with or without LSD that there's nothing but eternity? Can you feel me? Did you ever live? And have you ever died? If you can answer all with yes, then welcome to the other world, because you have touched the light. I'm going to end this part of my show with a personal prayer. No one to forgive me for all that I've done. No one to pray to to make wishes come true. No one to blame for the things that went wrong. No heaven, no hell, nowhere to go when I die. My mother always told me that God is alive. The day I got baptized for my grandmother's sake, an innocent child forced into protection by the stepfather, God. I almost drowned in holy tap water. The priest had an erection. They got drunk on red wine, but called it his blood. Crucifixion when I stand with my arms open wide, ready to hug you. Instead, I hold myself tight. And in front of the altar on Christmas Eve night, you play Jesus, the groom. I'm Magdalena. The whore as your bride, born without God. No Allah, no Buddha, no Krishna. No one to believe in but me, it must be. No one to blame but me, it must be. There must be a God inside myself, but that God within me has no name. Mother Earth is my church and my poems are my prayers. I don't belong to a religion, no cult, and no clan. In the name of my father, my unborn son, my Holy Spirit ends up serving myself. And hopefully, one day. A man. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much for watching the show. You are a nice audience. <laughs> Easy audience. And um, yeah, peace and love to all of you. And be true to thyself. Thank you. <laughs>